So today we're gonna have a look at this Element RC Enduro with a very nice 3D printed body. Hey guys, this is uh, Frank from Sesco RC and welcome uh, to this episode of On The Bands. And on this uh, episode we're gonna have a look at a very special car built by uh, one of our Sesco RC team members, uh, Eric, which is my brother. And look at this guys, look at this. Now this is an uh, Element RC uh, Enduro uh, chassis. And it has a 3D printed cap and uh, a wall cage in the coin. And the rest is uh, mostly are also uh, scale accessories that are 3D printed. And it has uh, the rear, uh, the bed that is made out of uh, foam. So not styrene, but foam. And it's a uh, it's a Jeep FC 150, and as you can see, it is a very nice example. Show you what you can do with the 3d printed uh, body and uh, in the link i will uh, i'll put a, i'll put a link in the description uh, where you can find this body this is uh, comes comes from uh, from cults um, and it's it's just a really nice body what we did to it is that uh, we 3d printed the body and he did all the work after that um, we found the uh, dashboard to be a bit plain so we made some changes in that in the design make sure that there was uh, interior and well as you can see everything came out really nice uh, I really uh, designed the the wall cage which is yeah just a wall cage with everything on it room for lights and everything that's uh, something I designed myself and also 3D printed for him. Uh, this part over here, the coin, that's uh, another link I will put in the description. It's uh, made by a card called Dr. Nut. Then it's got some uh, nice aluminum uh, wings and it's packed with, uh, with electronics. So you can see that it's just an Element uh, RC. It started out as an Element RC Enduro kit. The front bumper is the Enduro uh, bumper. You might recognize it. And the rear bumper is made out of foam. Now this is uh, quite heavy, it's uh, around four and a half kilograms. We measured it. It's pretty well balanced. Uh, it showed that it was, well, quality mode, a little bit more weight in the front and um, some less weight in the rear. And it was also pretty much 50-50 on, uh, on the side. So it came out really nice. Um, what can we say about it yet? Yeah. I think the yellow just pops.
this all adds up in the weight and for that uh, that reason to change out the install the element rc uh, shocks but the springs are from a traxxas slash and they can handle the uh, the weight of the body better and we tried the uh, the most stiffest uh, springs of uh, element rc but they were, they were not stiff enough uh, it's just Sacking all the So you can imagine that this was uh, quite some work before the paint went uh, went on. The printer came out really nice, I have to say that. And uh, so that, that saves you time. But in the end you have to uh, make sure that, uh, that it's all clean enough to get uh, some paint on it. So it involves a process of, uh, of getting some primer on it, uh, sanding down, until you can uh, put the, uh, the final coat on it. Uh, as far as um, the functionality on it, um, the, there's a winch on the front. Um, it's just waiting for the D-links over here, so we can put the cable over here. That's the last part uh, that's going to be on it. Uh, furthermore, there is uh, a winch on the on the rear, that's for the crane, so that's all functional. The lights over here are all functional, so it's got full light kit. And I think it's uh, it makes for a really fun car. Uh, it's not going to be the best quality in the world. It's more for off-roading, uh, driving some trails. But yeah, it is it is a great looking uh, car. As far as electronics, there's a Hobby Wing 1080 in it. Um, it's you know, pretty much the standard uh, in uh, these kind of cars. 
what it came 16. And there's a uh, Homs Hobbies uh, Trailmaster Sport motor in it. So, how do you like it? Did you ever use a 3D printed body on, uh, on one of your builds? Let me know in the comments. And while you're doing that, make sure to uh, give a like, give a comment, and subscribe. So this uh, was for uh, this time on, uh, this is on the bench, one of the cars of our team members, Eric. So I hope you liked it and uh, thank you for watching and until the next time.